Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The space technology and exploration have huge potential. With the technological advancements, there are massive travel opportunities in next decade. Until last few years, ISRO was the only name that existed in this domain, but in the last few years, many private firms and startups have started brewing. The number of startups in the space sector was just one in 2012 and now has increased to 47 in 2021. The two prominent names in this space are Skyroot Aerospace, formed by former ISO scientist and IIT alumni, and Agni Cool Cosmos, incubated at IIT Madras. The name Agni Cool is not Agni plus Cool, but derived from Sanskrit word Gurukul. Back in old days, students used to go to Gurukul to learn. Similarly, Agni Kool is a place to learn about fire and how to use them. Recently, they have tweeted regarding Agni Ban, launch vehicle, another fascinating name which means a fire arrow, regarding which we will be discussing today. The idea behind setting up Agni Kool is to develop a launch small lift launch vehicle such as Agni Ban capable of placing 100 kg payload into 700 km orbit. Basically, the company is targeting small micro or nano satellites to lower earth orbits which has problems accessing space through conventional launch vehicles. Just like Ola Share or bus service, the company's idea is to provide the shared launch services to small satellites, reducing the cost and long wait time to launch. The launch vehicle to be used by company is named as Agni Ban. This is a customizable vehicle depending on the requirement. The rocket has overall length of 18 meters and diameter of 1.3 meters. It can lift 100 kg of payload to an altitude of 700 km lower Earth orbit. The total lift of mass of the vehicle is 14,000 kgs. The biggest achievement of Agni Cool Cosmos has been the testing of their 3D printed engine and it became the world's first company to achieve this in early 2021. They have developed a 3D printed semi cryogenic rocket engine called Agnilet. Now, this entire engine is just one piece of hardware from beginning to finish and has zero assembled parts. Typically, an engine has more than 100 parts built and assembled separately. If you look at the main sub parts of engine, they are fuel injectors, igniters and cooling channels. Agnilet's single piece of hardware combines all these three components into one. Therefore, the company does not have to spend days on complex assembly of parts and entire setup is ready in less than 4 days. This also increases the reliability of the engine as there are no assembled components. On 3rd December 2020, Department of Space entered into a non-disclosure agreement with Agni Cool Cosmos. The agreement is the first of its kind. The department has signed after the establishment of IN Space, the authorization and regulatory body under Department of Space for enabling private players to undertake space activities in India. Under the NDA, the company will be enabled for accessing the facilities and technical expertise available in ISRO centers to proceed with their launch vehicle development program. Working at ISRO facilities has given the company invaluable guidance and expertise besides accelerating their time to get the product flight ready. At present, the company is working on testing and integration of various subsystems of Agniban. They have successfully designed, realized and qualified their engines. They have also successfully fabricated all propulsion subsystems such as pumps and motors and are actively placing orders for many of large components of the vehicle such as tanks and structural subsystem. 
the company is planning for first commercial launch in this year. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.